So we'll be starting uh, from our Pine uh, file using the Pine Spinnaker plugin. We'll create populations of leak integrated and fire neurons based on those parameters. We will be creating 64 populations and putting each of them in one core. Then every population is composed by 100 neurons. And each population uh, will be connected to the next population in an excitatory uh, way. Uh, so to have activity being propagated uh, seriously from one population to the other. The last population will be connected to the first population with an inhibitory feedback. So we will uh, see inhibition feedback on the first population. It will be running for two seconds. We will be using the spike server to inject spikes into uh, uh, our Spinnaker chip. I'm 16 in this case. We'll be running 10 times lower than real time. And we'll be injecting uh, spikes in population one. So we'll be starting to see their effect in population two. And now we're ready to run. We load the scamp code that initializes the point to point routing tables. Uh, we flood field to all the system, and then we start loading all the neural data and neural applications to all 64 cores involved in this simulation. And uh, as we can see, all the 64 cores started uh, the simulation. Again, uh, each population will propagate its activity uh, to the next one, and the last population will uh, feed back in, with an ambition to the first population. Uh, and we'll be starting injecting neurons in population two. So the simulation finished with no warnings. It seems good. Let's go plotting results. We will be going directly to the last population of the system, which is population 16 in, core, in chip 1, 1, and see if activity propagate till there. Yes, it did. We can see two spikes that travel across all the system from population two to population uh, 64. And so we can now go to the first population, population in core processor number one in uh, chip zero, 00 and see if we got the inhibitory feedback. And yes, we did indeed. So spikes travel from population two to population 64 uh, across four chips, 64 cores, and they fed back with inhibition on uh, processor one on chip zero, 00. We can see the first core getting excitation is core number two, and we can see those same two spikes that have traveled across the system. So activity has been propagated to all 64 processors successfully and have fed back. We can pick another random processor like the last one in chip 00, zero and uh, see, well, same two spikes that travel from, uh, from the second population to this one. Or we can take another one in another chip, like population one in chip zero one, and we will see the same two spikes which have traveled. So the scaling uh, is different because the scale on the, on the left is different, but spikes are exactly the same. 